Hello. Apparently this is my week for talking on camera, which, as you probably found out, I should never ever do, but I'm going to do it anyway, so enjoy this. Um, I just thought it would be fun to try something different, and forgive me, bear with me, because I have really never filmed any videos before, <laughs> so um, this is probably going to be pretty bad. But I thought in honor of Record Store Day, which is tomorrow, to celebrate the occasion because it is definitely worthy of celebrating, I would show you how to make the CD garland on the closet door. Not the vines, but the CDs. Because I don't know how they made the vines. Um, so, yeah, I know you're thinking, this isn't vinyl. Why are you doing that for Record Store Day? But it's in the celebration, okay? No vinyl are going to be harmed in this video, <laughs> only CDs. Um, so yeah, you're going to need a ton of these. I'm only going to use four because I don't really want to make a whole nother garland. I have nowhere to put that. So I'm going to only make, like, literally two because you're going to put them together like this. So if you're going to make one as long as on my closet door, which I'd say is like, I don't know, a couple feet long, um, uh, you would need like 14 to 16 CDs, depending on how long you cut the string. So, yeah, just get, like, a bunch of CDs. Like, you could just go to the thrift store and buy a ton of CDs you don't want to actually listen to. And what you're going to do is you're going to take every two CDs and put them together. So they're just, it's reflective on both sides. And so I've done that with these ones. And, I mean, you could do the other side if you want, but I like the reflective sides better. Because they're just bootlegs, so they don't have any design on the other side, just a label. And then you're going to take just really any sort of string. doesn't matter. Anything to tie them together. I'm using black twine. But you could really use anything. You could use, I don't know, wire, ribbon, anything. Just so long as it can tie, you know. And you're just going to take a strand about... How long is this? Um, get my ruler. It's a little over a foot long. I do about an inch to two inches over a foot. So, measure that, and um, you're going to double it like this. Put the two ends together so you just have a large loop, and at the end, tie this together. And I would double knot it if I were you, but I'm not going to do that, so, because, you know, it's it takes too long. Um, so, I already tied the other ones. You're going to need... Uh, how many would you need? About two per CD. So yeah, I'd actually do the math, don't trust me. Um, but you're going to take one strand and stick this end, because it's probably going to be easier to stick through the hole. You're just going to stick it through there, so that it's just like this. The CDs are just suspended. Then you're going to take this end and stick it through the loop and pull it tight, so it's just kind of like this. Don't spin. It's just like this. And you're going to do that on both sides of the CD. Yeah. So it looks like this. And yeah, I know these are drastically different lengths. It's my mistake. But when you're done putting them on the end, they should look like this. And dang, I did that one too long. Um, so yeah, you're just going to have them on both ends. And then you're going to take more twine. And I'd say you probably need about, uh, I don't know, five inches this time. Cut two lengths of five inches off. So you have two five inch long pieces of twine. When you're done, it's going to just be like this. Just two pieces of twine. And you're going to take one. And take one of your CDs, grab it by this loop right here, and stick this twine through it, like this. And then you're going to take your other CD and stick it on there too. So there's just two CDs hanging here. And then tie it. Like I said, double knot will probably be good. And you could just tie it, tie it, but I'm going to do the type of knot where it's like a noose, you know? So, yeah, it there's kind of a loop in between. 
like so. And so it's going to look like this. And I realized I didn't have to cut this piece. Twine, wherever it may be. Yeah. I didn't have to cut this. That would be if you're connecting another CD. But basically, you're just going to keep doing that. You're just going to keep hooking the CDs together with a piece of twine and then tying them. Tie them however you want. I don't care. Or you could do something like you could hook them together with jump rings if you don't want this junky knot right here. But really, you could do whatever you want. You know, it's your CD garland, so... You know, make it how you want. And, I mean, if you want, you could cut them, these extra pieces right here on the end of the knots, off. I personally kind of like how they look. Um, but yeah, whatever. You can do it however you want. And when you're done, then just hang them up on a pin anywhere. They're not connected. Each one is a separate strand. And just hang them wherever you want, you know? Make a curtain. Do whatever you want with them. <laughs> They're yours. So, yeah, I just thought that would be fun to show you. Thank you for watching this, and, yeah, just, yeah, I apologize <laughs> for how badly filmed this was.